Could this in fact be better than human growth hormone? That is what we'll uncover in today's video. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And you all know that I love to keep up to date with the latest and greatest health research. And I love to discover new and novel ingredients that improve human performance. And today I'm very excited to be looking at a potential growth hormone analog that lasts 24 times longer than human growth hormone. Now, researchers at Novo Nordisk are working on a new generation of growth hormone analogs, which users have to inject far less frequently than the growth hormone currently available on the market. Now, according to a, stub, uh, a study published in Endocrinology, the pharmaceutical company has a hormone that lasts 24 times as long in the body as regular growth hormone does. Now, the researchers call their new compound 3NGH. Now, the N simply stands for N-glycosylation and the chemical term, which is basically a chemical term for attaching a glucose-based sugar or a glucose-based sugar chain to an N atom on a side chain of arginine or asparagine. Um, so the researchers injected their new preparation into rats that were no longer able to synthesize their own growth hormone. And because of the half-life of 3NGH, it was extended by a factor of 24 compared to regular growth hormone. And the animals grew much faster from a one-time injection of 15 nanomoles of 3NGH from versus daily injections of 10 nanomoles. So we can see that this 3NGH could potentially be more potent and more effective than human growth hormone. Now, this study here was titled N-glycosylation increases the circulatory half-life of human growth hormone. Now, this study here was actually completed back in 2010. I'm actually excited to see more research on ways in which we can enhance the effectiveness of growth hormone. We do know that there are other growth hormone secretagogues. There are growth hormone releasing peptides, GHRP2, GHRP6, ibutamorin or MK677, which is a growth hormone releasing hormone. But what's interesting here is that the study basically outlined that therapeutic use of recombinant GH or growth hormone typically involves daily subcutaneous injections. We examined the possibilities for prolonging the in vivo circulation of growth hormone by introducing N-glycans. The terminal half-life of 3-NGH after IV injection was 24-fold prolongs compared to the wild-type growth hormone for the pool with the most pronounced um, sialation. So what's interesting is that over a four-day period, a single injection of 3-NGH induced a stronger IGF-1 response and a larger increase in body weight than daily injections with the wild-type growth hormone. Thus, researchers concluded that the N-glycans can prolong the in vivo circulation and enhance the pharmacodynamic effect of growth hormone. Um, sialic acids seem to play a pivotal role for the properties of glycosylated growth hormone. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. So what can we learn from this particular research? Well, one thing to really pay attention to here is that tweaking existing hormones and searching for analogs and precursors or metabolites is what makes the field of drug discovery an extremely exciting space. Um, if you guys have seen my video on discovering the perfect drug, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to here. I'm really excited by the use or the repurposing of existing drugs and looking for different ways to make them even more effective or reduce their side effects. So there's Something to really pay attention to here, just for your own learning and lessons, is that even by simply changing or adding one extra double bond or adding one extra little methyl group to a particular molecule, like for example, well, paracetam's an example, adding a phenyl group to the paracetam molecule, 
the phenyl addition to paracetam can change its pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties significantly. Um, it can you know, change its binding profile to different pathways and receptors in the body. And this is something that I learned when I was working in my dad's pharmacy, learning about the applications of different medications and how they actually work in the human body. Now, here's just a reminder of the side effects associated with growth hormone. Now, obviously there's an increased risk of insulin resistance. A number of bodybuilders have complained about this um, negative effect from growth hormone is that it can actually make them insulin resistant, increasing the risk of type two diabetes. It can cause swelling in the legs and arms or edema, and it can cause joint and muscle pain. And for men, some men who are unlucky can actually cause an enlargement of their breast tissue and promote gyno or gynecomastia. Um, so there's an increased risk for certain cancers as well. If you have existing cancer, taking growth hormone can accelerate the spread of cancer. Um, and then the other side effect that wasn't actually listed here is actually extreme fatigue and sleepiness. Um, and this may be due to its effects on prolactin. There's a belief that maybe growth hormone may affect prolactin as well. So here are some other strategies to actually boost growth hormone. We have MK677, sauna usage, arginine and ornithine combination, oolong tea and GABA powder. That pretty much wraps up today's video. If you want to learn about some of the best ways to enhance your productivity, performance, um, energy levels, testosterone, you want assistance with what foods to eat, um, do consider joining my men's energy program, Limitless that goes through a range of the most advanced protocols um, that I've developed for a range of things. So do check that out. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.